Welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, we will see how we can build a very simple calculator using the Python programming language. Here the calculator that we are building will work on two numbers and it will support addition, subtraction, multiplication and division operations. So the first thing that we do here is we will display the options to the user so that he can choose what he wants to do. So I'm going to use the print function and uh, I'm going to display the options. So if the user wants to perform, let us say addition, then he has to enter one. Similarly, if the user wants to perform subtraction, he has to enter two. And uh, similarly, we can say if the user wants to perform multiplication, then he has to enter the option three. Similarly, for division, he has to enter the option four. Now from these options, the user has to select any one, you know, he has to enter the number. For example, for addition, he has to enter one. So now what we can do is we can ask the user to enter his choice. So I'm going to use the input function and I'm going to ask the user enter your choice and uh, whatever the number that the user is going to enter we will store that in a variable let us call it as choice now here the input function will return whatever the choice that the user is going to enter which will be a number as a string value if the user is going to enter let us say number two for subtraction then this input function will return number two as a string value that's the one thing that we have to remember so the choice will get the string value now after that what we can do is we can ask the user to enter two numbers. So I'm going to use the input function in here and then I'm going to say enter number one and again this input function will display this message and when the user is going to enter that number the input function will return it as a string value. But in this case we want the number and also the user can enter the numbers with decimal places. So I'm going to convert the user input, which is a number in string form to number form by using the float function. I'm using float here because the user can enter the number with decimal places. If you want the user to enter only um, whole numbers, then you can use the int function in here. Okay. Now after that, we can store this number. Uh, in a variable let us say num1 similarly we can uh, ask the user to enter the second number and we can store it in a second variable so here i'm going to say enter number two and i'm going to store that after converting to number type in this num2 variable so now what we have done is we have displayed the options menu to the user and we have asked the user to enter his choice and also we have asked the user to enter the two numbers on which whatever the operation that the user has selected will be performed. So now what we can do is depending on the user's choice, we can perform the particular operation on the numbers that the user has entered and we can display the results. So here we will use the if else conditional statement to check the user's choice. So we will use the if conditional statement and we will check whether the user has entered the choice one, which is for the addition. Now, if you remember, I said that the choice variable will get the user's choice as a string value. So here I'm going to compare the choice variables value with the string value of one, whether the user has entered one or not. If the user has entered one, it means he wants to perform addition. So we will perform addition and we will display the result. So I'm going to use the print function in here and how I want to display the result is I want to display num1 plus num2 equal to whatever the result. If the user is going to enter let us say 10 and 20 then we will display 10 plus 20 is equal to 30. So for that with this print function first we have to display the value present in this num1 variable and then we have to display the operator which is plus for addition and after that we will display the value in this num2 variable and after that we will display equal to symbol and after that 
we will display the result which is nothing but num1 plus num2 i'm going to use the parenthesis to group the calculation so num1 plus num2 so here uh, this print function will display all these arguments um, separated by a space okay so it will display num1 plus num2 equal to some value so this is for the addition similarly we have to write the code for subtraction multiplication and division and now we will check whether the user has entered the choice 2 for that we will use the elif conditional statement and this time we will check whether the choice contains a value which is 2 again we are performing the string comparison here because um, the input function will return the user input as a string value so now here uh, we will perform the subtraction and we will display the result i'm going to copy and paste this uh, print statement i'm going to change the operator num1 minus num2 is equal to num1 minus num2 okay so we will subtract the values and we will display the result that's it for the subtraction similarly we have to do for the multiplication so it will be lf choice comparison operator 3 string value 3 uh, if the user has uh, entered uh, choice 3 then we will perform multiplication and we will display the result so here the operator will be star uh, which we use for multiplication and here we will perform num1 multiplied by num2 and we will display that result okay similarly we will check for the uh, last choice so it will be l if and uh, choice is equal to 4 which is for the division operation while performing division one thing that we have to remember is if the denominator contains 0 then uh, we can't perform the division operation we will be in the divide by 0 situation so here what we are doing is um, we are performing num1 plus num2 num1 minus num2 num1 multiplied by num2 and similarly uh, for the division operation we will perform num1 divided by num2 so while performing the division operation we have to check whether the num2 variable is containing 0 or not whether the denominator is containing 0 or not so we will check for that by using the if conditional statement if num2 is containing a value which is equal to 0 then we will not perform the division operation we will display a message stating that divide by 0 error okay if the num2 is not 0 then uh, we will perform the division and we will display the result so i'm going to copy this print statement and i'm going to paste it in here it will be the division operation num1 divided by num2 equal to num1 divided by num2 and now what we have done is we have checked the user input for addition for subtraction for multiplication and for the division now we will check whether the user has entered any other choice for example the user can enter let us say a number 7 or 8 we will check for that and for that we will have the else block and here we will say invalid choice okay so now uh, what we have done is we have written the simple program in here uh, we can save this program and we can run this it will display the menu enter your choice i'm going to say 1 enter the number 1 10 enter number 2 20 it says 10 plus 20 is equal to 30 and again if i want to perform one more calculation then i have to run this program and this time i'm going to say subtraction 10 20 it will display negative 10 as the output similarly if i want to perform one more calculation then i have to run this program again and this time i'm going to say multiplication i'm going to say 10 20 it will display 200 and again if i want to perform one more calculation i have to run it um, division i'm going to say 100 and num2 0 now it will say divide by zero error again i'm going to run this program and uh, division operation 
and I'm gonna say 10 divided by 2 it will display 5.0 I'm gonna run it one more time and this time I'm gonna enter 9 and it will say enter the number 1 10 20 it will say invalid choice so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add uh, one more functionality which is nothing but if you want to perform more than one calculation then you have to run this program again and again so what i want to do is i want to run this much code in a loop so that if the user wants to perform more calculations, he can continue directly he don't have to run the program again and again so for that what we do is we will place all this code that we have written inside a loop so in the beginning i'm going to use a while loop and what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this while loop condition as true so this while loop condition will always be true and then everything that we have written till now will be inside this while loop now what happens is this uh, code will run in repeated mode so in this code what we have to do is we have to add a functionality for stopping the program since we have the while loop condition as true here at some point this loop has to stop for that what we can do is we can add one more choice here so i'm going to use the print function and i'm going to say enter q or lowercase q or capital q to exit okay now after the user's choice we have to check whether whether the user has entered q or capital q and if the user has done that then we have to exit this program so here uh, i'm going to check for that if choice is equal to lowercase q or choice comparison operator equal to uppercase q in that case what we want to do is we want to break this loop we don't want to continue this loop so here what i have done is i have mentioned that if the user wants to quit then he can enter q or capital q if you want you can provide the option number five here and also if you want you can convert the user choice to integer type and in that case you have to compare the user input with this numbers not with distinct values okay so now i'm going to save this program and i'm going to run this code um, I'm going to say addition 10 20 it will display the result and then again it will display the menu so this time I'm going to enter Q and it will terminate the program um, to make it pretty if you want you can add a space after in the end just by using the print statement outside the if else uh, conditional block just use the print statement okay now this code will be available in my website if you want you guys can uh, check that out so this is it guys this is how we can write a simple calculator program using the python programming language if you like this video hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button if you want to say something then uh, write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video